Hello all my friends, my true blues, my nears and dears, and anybody new here to the channel. I'm Chris. I hope you're well. Um, and I have some finishes to show you today. Um, now some of this stuff you probably have seen already in unboxing videos. Um, because I always try to sh uh, finish when I do unboxings. I always try to, if I do, like, get small projects, at least do one of them to try to put into the unboxing um, to show what it looks like. And then, um, you know, maybe here or there you might have seen other stuff finished. And you also might have might see something that I haven't unboxed yet. I'm not too sure. Because, um, you know, when I get stuff, I, sometimes I start it right away. Sometimes it's, like, a year and it's still not done so you never know what you're gonna see <laughs> okay so I have a bunch of stuff to, for you to see today don't worry this should go pretty fast because I don't really waste time when it comes to um, the finishes so I have here some of these paper um, like Christmas ornament type things I guess you could use it as tags for gifts or probably stickers if you stick something sticky on the back you know it's just stick it down they give you this gold string and the hole in top um, it comes in a pack of eight unfortunately I only have seven because I think I lost one in my garbage <laughs> that sits right by me um, I had them hanging up right by me by the garbage and I think um, they were all kind of uh, bunched together in this little hook and I might have knocked it over into the garbage and not knowing it because I can't find it and that's the only place it could have gone and that was a little gingerbread house unfortunately the one probably my favorite one it couldn't have been one of these right I have three of them or four of them anyways no big deal I do actually plan on using these I'm probably gonna put some if not all maybe on my Christmas tree this year I'm actually gonna have uh, some diamond painted stuff on there I have these I have a couple uh, another set of acrylic things I'm gonna put on so it, it'll definitely be a diamond painted Christmas. So here we have our little um, mitten, all rhinestones, very pretty. I'm counting all this, these ornaments as a one finish. There's there like a set, very pretty here. An ornament, our little bell. You know, these go by super fast, they're fun. Again, great for anybody you want to try to sneak in to get to start diamond painting. If you want to get, um, you know, somebody who might need some, you know, keep their mind busy or, you know, kids. So he, those, there we have it. We have seven, but they come in a set of eight uh, little paper ornaments. Okay, let's put that aside. Now here is a little sign, one of those hanging signs. Now this is like a... Um, um, a soft sort of it bends and everything like a foamy kind of thing and they came with again they give you this uh, like faux uh, this pleather kind of hanging uh, string thing that I used and here it is I probably put this on a bad way you know I don't know but I don't care <laughs> it's fine for my, my purposes Anyway, so it says Merry Christmas. A little sign, Christmas. We have Santa with his gift. Some a gift in the chimney. Our little tree here. Our candy cane colored uh, letters. Again, oops, what's that? A little dirt. No, it's a little piece of tissue. Again, a uh, very quick, fun project to do for the holiday season. And you can just hang it anywhere in the house, on your door, wherever. Very fun. Okay, so there's that. Again, you might have seen this one already. It's my third and final tree. I actually do have another one. Well, I have a uh, Christmassy, like, um, it's a... You could call it a Christmas wreath kind of thing that I have to show you and I have to do still. And I'm expecting one of these type things, but I'll give you a preview. It's more of a, it's not a tree. It's a different kind of, you know, hanging decoration sort of thingy like this. Okay, anyways, enough of that. So we have the stand here, which is pretty and diamond painted, of course. We have our swinging snowman. 
with the chain here and we have our beautiful blue tree this is my favorite of the three trees that i've done um not only because it's double sided uh so it's twice as fun <laughs> two times the fun right but also um i just think the the jewels and the, the decoration on the tree is the the prettiest of them all i'll pick you pick this up just to show you a little better there you go so really pretty and again you, i know you've probably seen this if you watch my videos but why not look again beautiful okay now let's get to some canvas stuff that's all the off canvas now on canvas so i just did this one yesterday it's adorable it's the little bee holding a heart my little beverly bee here how cute again it's my favorite bubble round this one as you'll as i'll talk about in a quick minute didn't don't does not have the issue with any sort of um guide circle-y things showing through see it even up close it looks fine you don't see any circle i know it's a little out of focus there see we don't have any issues with that even this close which is good beautiful you know i love these <laughs> okay so that was a quick tiny little project um this one again i did this for my the no start november i I believe I started it and I had to put it aside and I never finished it and I would come back every so often so I finally did finish it I should probably at this point lift you up because um, so you could see the whole thing okay so uh, yeah it's a cute kitty with all this you know rhinestone work and special shapes It was always funny to me that they didn't put anything in here where the jewel is or that there where the jewel is or there where the jewel is. It's it's a partial, so it's not sticky over there. I always thought that was just ironic that you're diamond painting and they're called diamonds. But where the actual jewels are, they don't put anything on the on the picture. <laughs> OK, so there we have that one. Now, this one I did for Gnome November. I love it. This is my little gnome holding, uh, I call it my Valentine's gnome because he's holding a heart balloon. So I think it's very appropriate for Valentine's Day. So these are the kind of bubble rounds that I prefer um, because when you use, when you deck, um, do bubble rounds with color, and I could show you later if, uh, in, or in a minute, um, if you see the contrast between them where the crystals are especially with the backgrounds compared to like black and white colors there's a big difference you don't really see the guide circles that they include too much i'm having a lot of issues focusing today i don't know why it keeps going out of focus um if you really can't see anything behind the rhinestones anywhere here a little bit you can you could see the little red parts but it's not really honestly that bad uh, and that's really up close you know again a foot away you really you can't see it at all um but anyways this is again super cute super fun i love these so much how adorable is he now let me get the other one just for compare to contrast so this is the one i again i just finished this one this is the christmas bell so back back black background um so this happens a lot in the black and white backgrounds you can see no matter how well you place it and believe me i was super careful and in some areas you could tell it looks better like in here see i started up in this area and i wasn't um as successful you could see there the back you know the white back then down into here it looks better because i was being super careful and i guess at this point i was going to do it separately but maybe i'll give you the trick now uh the trick to doing to making sure the 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 
the guide circles show as little as possible is two things that I found. Diamond paint completely on top, uh, straight. So what I mean by that is when you pick the diamond up in your pen, so pretend there's a diamond here, don't like put it down like in a slant. You know, put it down completely straight onto the circle. Um, because normally, even if you put it down in a slanting motion, there I think there's a tendency to just try to move it. And on this kind of glue, if you push it, like if you try to push these into place, it just doesn't do it. You know, they don't really push. It's like on double, it sound, it's like this kind of glue with these kind of stones. It's like double-sided double adhesive. You try to push it and it just comes right back. So, and again, even if you're super careful... And I know I'm going on and on about this, but I just want you know your experience to be as good, well good as possible. And also, um, my second tip for also doing this, uh, this kind of bubble painting, especially again on black and white backgrounds, uh, completely straight up and down with placing, and also if you can place extremely light. Uh, get yourself some good glue or art glue. Um, some good um, wax or glue dots or whatever you use. Um, make sure it's, you know, it picks the diamonds up and it's not sticking to them or all that, all that other stuff. And just be extremely care uh, light. Like pick it up very lightly from the tray and just place it very lightly like a feather. Um, that way you're not giving anything a chance to move or anything. And it actually goes really quick if you're very light. Um, because it, it, it just there's a quicker motion for whatever reason anyways that's just my tip for these kind of backgrounds so like I said you could definitely see the contrast between the backgrounds on here seeing the you know the red or the white guide circle well the red is the guide circle part the white is the symbol part so again even though they're placed pretty good it's still showing through whereas on this one again you don't see any all right so I'll move this one over there. Let's talk about the bell some more. So uh, even though that's shown, when you're about two feet away, I'd, I'd say about two feet, um, you really can't tell. It kind of mixes and blends in, and you really can't see them. So unless you're right on top of it, you can kind of see the imperfection of it. But again, I, if you love them, if you like this, I, there's always going to be something that's an issue. To me, that's not a deal breaker, seeing that. To me, it's more of a pain working on it because I can see it. And in my mind, the way I diamond paint or the way just my personality is, seeing that, it drives me crazy when I'm doing it. When I'm finished, I don't really care. Uh, it, you know, Again, you really can't see it when you're any, any amount of distance away from it. You know, two feet and more, you're fine. Again, contrasting, look at the, the rhinestones in there. You don't see any of that issue behind the rhinestones or the special drills. It's just on the black and whites. I actually really wish they would change that. They don't need it. Um, you know, again, these other ones, it comes out fine. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking about it. I've been going on and on about that. You're probably tired. I said I wanted to be this quick video, and it's not turning that way. Okay. So, we have our black background. We have our beautiful bell. We have our bow, we have our leaves and stars. And this is really striking, really pretty. Believe me, hanging up for Christmas. Lovely. All right, enough about that. So here we have, this is so beautiful. I adore it. Now, usually I am not, <clears throat> excuse me, one second. Hmm. Okay, sorry about that. So usually I'm not somebody who likes this much of a partial, all of this background, negative background, where there's nothing on there. But when I saw this, I had to have it. It was stunning because of all of the beautiful gems on here, on her dress. This is so regal. I love that um, woman of color. I love the white. I love the swirl I love it's just it's stunning just a little pop of color in her bouquet and everything else is whites and clears uh, she's outlined in a black AB so it gives her skin tone or her outline a little um, zhuzhing up 
This is really stunning. I really love this. Now, this is what I call a good partial. <laughs> For me, at least. Beautiful. Okay. So, down to our final two. Here we have our snow, our four snowman, our regular drilled. Now this is a round. I got this as a gift last year from my dad for Christmas. It's a 50 by 50 by 30. Super sparkling. Um, hold on one second. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I am back though. So as I was saying, I got this last year as a gift from my dad for Christmas. Um, it's around 50 by 30 and it's really cute it's super sparkly love that i've seen them a lot all over the place because they're so adorable and we have our four snowman in the snow and there's like a wood type like barn background sort of thing so it was quite interesting with this because i started it over here and it was like really hard <laughs> i can't tell you the trouble I had doing it, it was, it was like, seemed super confetti-ish, even though it was really not, because I only did, like, I'd worked in a section like this, so a lot of this was, you know, a few different colors, like a white and a gray and this purple color, so most of it wasn't, but up here, as you could see, this is super confetti, all in the background, what I'll call the wood type background, with all those colors, and so... I don't know. I actually changed the way I was diamond painting, which I never do it this way. Um, usually I do it from the most color to the least because it's, you know, once you get the most color out of the way, you can really pick out the smaller amounts easier as always the other way around. So when I got up to here, I decided to actually do it the other way around because I had such an issue that day down here. I don't know why. Um, sorry about that. So I actually started doing it from like smaller colors and it actually worked and it went pretty fast that way i was so surprised and so i did it the rest of the way through that way i would in my section that i would do i would do the le least amount of color or i would uh you know pick my little containers up and i'd work on it the colors in that strip of containers until i got to the bigger ones which i would save for less and for whatever reason for this diamond painting only uh that worked and I went fast. I didn't feel like I was slogging along or this was taking forever. And, um, you know, I, my, the way I don't paint changes all the time, it, depending on day to day or painting to painting. So you do it with what works. You don't have to stick with your uh, typical um, way of doing things. Do whatever works for you that day or that session or that painting, you know. I've gone back to the normal way I diamond paint now, although I haven't done the regular kit yet. I'm still working on special stuff, so I shouldn't say that, but, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, well, I did with the, this one you'll see next. I went to my normal ways, and it worked. Okay, enough about that. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I really promised I wanted to make this fast. Okay, so it's super sparkly, really cute, really pretty. No problems, didn't run out of anything. None of this stuff I ran out of anything, had any issues, any of these projects. Okay, the last one. The last one. Here we have it. We have our... Oops, let me unplug this. We have our Crystal Canvas Arts Gingerbread House. Now, this one was also for no, uh, Chart November because I had started this a while ago, like probably last year, and I had done a small part of the snow over here. And I just wasn't feeling it. Then earlier this, um, whatever it was, uh, not too long ago, f a few months ago, I took it back out because I wanted this done for this Christmas. And I got just this bottom section done. And I was like, oh, this is, I don't know. I'm just still not feeling it. Well, so No Start November came along and I was like, you know what? I have to do this. I have to finish this. And I did. And it went by much better the third time around for whatever reason. Um, again, it, it did start out slow when I started it up again, but as I got into it, it went faster. Um, again, usually not crazy about a lot of these colors in the house, these browns and yellows and stuff. Everything begins to look the same. Um, but, uh, it did go faster, especially on the outsides because those are more color blocky areas, whereas this is complete confetti. I don't know if this is still available. I did look on the website when, when a friend of mine asked about it, and I looked, and I couldn't find it. 
So I don't know if they still sell this or not. If it was sold out, I'm not too sure. But it's from Crystal Canvas Arts again. It was it was it came out pretty good. Again, kind of like with my fall one that I did. I don't love it. Um, and this is by my one of my favorite designers, the Natalia Gorni. Um, I don't know. It just feels a little bit too um, not pixelated, but it could be a little clearer. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. My throat hurts today. Um, so we have the clear, kind of more clears in this side and blues on this side. Again, stained glass um, picture, our trees, our gingerbread house. And again, you know, once you step back further and further, it really comes out a lot clearer. Um, and it's, it is super cute. I really like it. Um, great for, again, great for the holiday. Uh, okay, so that's all my finishes for you today. I held you up enough. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the finishes. I always like to show you guys what I finished because I always think that's important. Um, I do get a lot of stuff done, usually a lot of smaller stuff. Bigger stuff takes more time, but I always like sharing it. Um, that's actually why I started my channel was to show off all my finishes. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and... I guess until next time, please everybody be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Bye guys.